I'm Emma, and he's Stu, and these are our three little explorers. If you are new around these parts, then here's a bit of background. We are a normal British world schooling family off on an exciting tour of Europe and beyond. We are on a mission to show our children the real world, not just from a book, and to teach them about what is really important in life. Hopefully, we'll be creating some magical memories along the way. For the past couple of months, we have been traveling around Morocco in our motor home, Betty. So far, we have seen some amazing and life-affirming places in Morocco. We have had some incredible experiences that will stay with us forever. But we are now at the end of our African adventure and it's time to board the ferry back to Europe. In this video, we take a slow trip back to Tanjamed, where we will be boarding the ferry back to Barcelona. We take the time to catch up on some van life jobs and we show you what van life in Morocco is really like. We had an amazing time in Chef Chouen. What a beautiful city. Definitely one to put on the let's come back without the kids list. Now we are making our way up to a park up about an hour away from the port at Tangier Med. We were going to have a bit of a beachy finish to our time in Morocco. But before that, we needed to get some supplies for our super long ferry crossing. We were taking the 33 hour long ferry trip from Tangier Med to Barcelona. So we needed to stock up on grub before we boarded the ship. We've been experimenting with our food shopping since we've been in Morocco and regarding supermarkets there doesn't seem to be a consensus online or with people that we've met in Morocco about which is the cheapest. Each person says something different. We've tried Aswag Aslam, Marjane and we only had Carrefour left so it's time to give it a go. quality gunpowder you can drink. I don't think we want to be drinking that. That sounds like that's going to come come back out the wrong way with a little bit more force than we want. Carrefour wasn't too bad on price for some things. It does seem to be that different supermarkets are cheaper for certain things when compared with each other. The meat wasn't too badly priced either, although there were some imported goods that will make your eyes water. Some things definitely seem to be a little bit cheaper, but I can tell you one thing that isn't cheaper, peanut butter. And if you're a big fan of peanut butter, like we are as a family, then paying £4.30 or four, €4.30 is a little extravagant for a very small tub of peanut butter. Most important decision so far of the whole trip. What flavour sweets to get for the boat? That is proper expensive. That's about 12 euros for one pack of Lindor. That is one expensive pig out. If you want value for money, then the best place to shop in Morocco is the markets, preferably the local town markets. We found that fruit, veg and staples were so cheap here and pretty good quality. We didn't buy meat from the markets, only the small supermarkets and bigger supermarket chains. I mean, I bet it's probably fine, but our feeble westernised digestive systems wouldn't be able to handle the lack of refrigeration. So we bottled it and played it safe. Come on, we do have kids on board. I gave him an option. It was either Burger King or some nice Moroccan restaurant near <laughs> where we're parking up tonight. What'd you go for, kids? Burger King. Burger King. No culture. Fill of size. Might not be, but there's the beach there. Oh, no, it's definitely guarded. Is there definitely a guardian? Yeah, it's guarded, so. jacket on. Yeah. I'll go over and see him so. Annoyingly, this park up wasn't okay for staying overnight, which was a real shame as the beach was so nice. Also, it looked like a fairly quiet place. We are going to need to find somewhere afterwards for our pit stop. Oh, 
Daniel Craig, you ain't nothing on me, bruv. Right, we've had our fun at the beach and we're gonna go and head down the coast because you can't park here tonight. So I think there's a park up about five minutes away. Yeah. I think it's pretty much the same as what we've just parked in, but it's you're allowed to park there. So we're gonna go check it out. I mean, we don't know, you know, what it's gonna be like in terms of security, you know, whether we're gonna feel safe there, but we're gonna have a look. Everything's been fine so far. So yeah, but it is our last night and you know, we don't want to push it on the last night too much. The and M's was just having a bit of a team meeting. Team meeting? Yeah on the way down the coast. Yeah, and we've just decided, do you know what? I mean, we were gonna park up out at this amazing seafront and it was beautiful, like, you know, very, very, Stunning. very sort Lovely. of, I know we're on the meds, sounds a bit stupid to say it, but it was like very that kind of European Mediterranean <laughs> vibe and feel about it. It was quite a lovely place, but it was also really busy. And we do need to get some sleep tonight because we have got a really mental day tomorrow of trying to get through the, uh, the Moroccan customs so we actually thought do you know what how far are we from the port and we are only half an hour away so it's a good little car park to park up right by the port yeah it's, it's somewhere right next to when you come out the customs it's really easy to get to get from there and you know it's always manned because they have late ferries coming in so I think it's quite secure well I mean it's pretty secure because you've got border police right there on the uh, border um, so yeah we we're just going to go there. We're just going to head up towards the, uh, the port now. We're half an hour away. We're not far. We've actually had a really good shop today. Got everything we needed, didn't we? So we're pretty much kitted to go. Um, and do you know what? We just don't want faff. We're like... An easy life tomorrow. Yeah, we're ready to ready to get on that boat. We've got our heads, heads firmly on traveling on the boat now. So we're kind of ready to rock and roll and we just... We just don't want faff and we don't want a really, really noisy night. I mean, sorry, Morocco, we love you. We love you a lot, but we- It's a Friday night. It's a Friday night and we, we, we've got a big day tomorrow. It's so. like a party night. So it's gonna be a bit of a, it's all me, 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 us, 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 isn't it? But we're just gonna go straight to the port. Yeah, that's what we're doing. on the wrong side of the road at the minute. A diversion without diversion signs. <laughs> hey -ho. Only in Have Morocco. It. We made it to the port. We did. And we found the parking, even though it's a different place to where the sat nav was trying to take us. We definitely didn't go into the parking initially, but we're here now. As you can see, the old girl, there she is, there's Betty. She's parked up. We're gonna have a little bit of a Moroccan brandy snap. They're not called that, but that's what we've called them. Um, have a bit of a chilled out, 10 minutes and then uh, we're gonna put the kids in bed. Great plan, huh? And you are. Great plan. Yeah. Sleep. You're going it's to bed. Great. I am going to bed, but uh, after you. So it's not as glamorous as the other beach, but it'll do. And it means we're here. So it means we haven't got to get up in the morning, get ourselves going, which anyone with kids knows takes a long time anyway. But in van life with kids, it can take hours to get ourselves going sometimes. So we're just going to have a nice, easy night and hopefully a quiet day tomorrow.
So, we might have neglected our chores for a few days and well, van life has finally caught up with us. We really didn't want the same thing to happen on our arrival into Morocco, where we had to rush to get on the boat due to our gearbox failing. And we arrived with complete chaos and mess in Betty. So we really needed to get our act together and get this place spit spot before arriving in Barcelona. It's absolutely disgusting in there. We need to do something about that. Right then, cleaning ninjas. Should we go and tidy up? Yeah! Teamwork. Got a serious amount of laundry to do. It's like the cleaning fairies have come and sorted out our shameful, filthy mess. What do you fancy for lunch today in uh, Morocco? Bit of bread. More bread? More bread. Like some bread, would you? Bit of bread. Bread yeah. with bread. I think we'll probably have bread. Should we have bread? She is absolutely filthy on the outside. Sand blasted with Sahara Desert, mud everywhere, all up her. But we can't get that cleaned here. Today we've just done the inside and then one of the first jobs we're going to do when we get back to Spain is get her into one of those pressure wash areas where we can give her a good jet hose and on top of the roof as well because I have a feeling we've probably got half a desert up there. Right, me and Ribsy are going to go over and get checked in. We've got our ticket mm -hmm. or our registration document and we've got our passports. So when you get to the port you've got to go in and take your document and your passports and get your tickets. So if you remember from before when we came into Barcelona, that's where we got caught out. Well, that's what we're doing now to make sure we don't. So we're getting that nice and early. Well, minor, minor clause to that little uh, skit is that you've got to get it stamped. So you've got to get your paperwork stamped by one of the attendants to say that you're actually in the car park. And then once you've got it stamped, you can come over here and you can get it. Oh, oh it's okay. Okay, so yeah, you need to get your ticket, your registration document stamped. Then you head over to the ticket office and then they'll go and take your tickets and they'll give you a ticket and they'll give you your document to put on the front of your vehicle. But whatever you do, and the best piece of advice I can give you is don't film <laughs> because we just got told off for filming. <laughs> Waiting, waiting, and more waiting. Just when you think there couldn't be any more waiting involved, the port officials managed to find another queue for you to join. Also, it didn't seem to be the slickest operation in the world. Hola. <laughs> Bit of an impromptu concert there from the uh, the Spanish in the queue. 
they've got the old uh, accordion out, they've got the champagne on the go, and they've got the cigars. Viva Espanol! How are we feeling then? How's the Way port going? good. <laughs> we just got another few hours to wait till we load. Only took us how many hours? Okay. I think we've been, I feel like we've been here for days now. Uh, half four and it's half eight now. We've only been sat here for about 20 minutes. So it took us four hours from ticket, through the x-ray machine, through the slipper dogs. It is a bit of a slog this. Like, I mean, it was like a long time before we even got through customs and you know, but yeah, anyway, say la vie. big motorhome like us, beware of the ramps getting on and off the ferry. They are very steep up to the parking decks. So we just dug our feet in and refused to go up the ramps with the officials. Try and get yourselves on the lorry deck if you have a big one. Loads of space in there. Oh no, it's okay. Um... The back, if we go there it would ground. We're gonna get stuck. Back is not, no, no, no. no it's, look at the back. Look at the back. It's it big. Back. It's going to hit the. It will hit the back. We will. We will. In this ramp. We, we will. will. We will definitely get we stuck. Will get stuck. Yeah, we will get stuck. Sorry. No, but no, if, if we go if up you there. Watch where they dip at the back. We will smack our back of our vehicle and snap, and it will break the back of the vehicle. It's a two meter. If you go down, it's mixed with Sanjay, with Geno. If you go down, it's mixed by Geno. But we will. We can't get up that. The back will break on the van. Our it will break our bumper. We have two meters. Go that side. So that is our Moroccan adventure drawing to a close. We have woken up to be greeted with Spain on the horizon as we snake our way slowly along the coast towards Barcelona. We leave Africa behind us as we get ready for our next family adventure. We have had an amazing time here in Morocco. We have got so many beautiful and special memories to take with us. We cannot believe we actually did it. To think we have driven from the UK all the way to Morocco and then onto the Sahara Desert. It's wild. We have driven a cool 4,200 kilometers or 2,600 miles for the Brits. And although we have had a few minor and a couple of major bumps along the way, Betty has endured and is still running. We have loved so much of this country the lively and beautiful cities like Rabat, Casablanca, Marrakesh, Fez and Chef Shawen, all with their own distinct and unique personalities. We have loved each and every one of them and enjoyed learning all about the history and the local culture. The natural places, the high Atlas Mountains, the Sahara Desert, both the Erg Shagega and the Erg Chebi dunes, the Cedar Grand Forest where we fed the monkeys and the Sif Mountains. Each place felt truly distinct and we had so much fun exploring Morocco through its natural beauty. Not to mention there are so many different ways to explore each place. The people. Probably the most incredible thing about Morocco is the amount of wonderful people we have met along our travels. We have never encountered such a welcoming and hospitable people. You're always made to feel so welcome and people will go above and beyond to make your experience truly special. So, is van life in Morocco in 2024 still worth doing? Well, Check out some of our other videos and you will see that we have had the most amazing experience here. Of course, there are going to be lows on any nomadic trip, but it's the very, very high highs that make you forget about those. And in Morocco, those are in abundance. 
our biggest worry with coming to Morocco was will our motorhome be okay on the road surfaces? But we can assure you, except on the road between Fez and Chef Shawen, we have found driving the motorhome really straightforward and the main roads are absolutely fine. The motorways are also cheap for big vehicles. So when you can use them, it's, it's worth doing, especially if you wanna burn through those miles. Normally though, we prefer being off the motorways as you get to see the actual country and it's also getting stuck in the towns during market day is totally worth it. Cost-wise, Morocco is cheap. Is it as cheap as it was famed to be on the internet when we were researching the place? No, probably not. But then, is anywhere really that cheap anymore? The food can be expensive, especially groceries. But we did find shopping locally is the way to go and supermarkets are pretty well stocked. So you can get hold of most things. Chickpeas at two euros a can though is a bit much. The park ups do vary in cost. Some are very good value and are a fraction of the European prices. The campsites can be comparable to low season prices in Europe. Generally, though you will get more for your money here, just make sure you always have some loose change as tipping for everything is, is the way it works. Sometimes that's okay and it's deserved and sometimes it does feel a bit like a shakedown at times. But that's just the way it is and it isn't that big a deal in the grand scheme of things. It's more likely to be a shakedown in the big cities. We will be doing a full review of van life in Morocco at some point in the near future, hopefully creating a bit of a definitive guide as there is so much to talk about. But we can safely say, if you are looking for adventure, an exotic and rich culture, then van life in Morocco is totally worth the trip in 2024. It's not a walk in the park, and at times you need to have an open mind. But the experience we have shared with our children is one that will stay with all of us forever. We love you, Morocco. So, what's next I hear you say? Where are the nomaders heading to next? Well, we're not stopping our adventure just yet as our next van life videos will take us back to Europe where we are heading over to Central and Eastern Europe and exploring Germany, Hungary and Slovenia. It's going to be a really, really different change of pace to Morocco and we are really looking forward to being back in Europe and checking out some new and also some very familiar places to us. We want to take the opportunity to thank everyone who has subscribed to our channel during our Morocco trip. Genuinely, we were not expecting so many people to jump on board and it's made our YouTube adventure feel so exciting. It really has been overwhelming to receive so much support and kind comments during our travels. So, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. If you liked our video, or if you liked our whole adventure, then please drop us a little like down below. And if you are new to our channel, then welcome. And hopefully you will click the subscribe button to follow us along on our nomadic journey into Europe. Remember people, to really see Morocco and experience this fantastic country, you need to be there and see it. Ready? Nomaders, Nomaders away. away.